Magandang umaga po, Pilipinas. You're still watching AgriTV. Ito pa. Welcome po sa Mad About Koy. But pa, before we uh, proceed, let's, we'd like to wish everyone uh, the, the best of the Yuletide season. Merry Christmas one and all, and may you all have a prosperous, prosperous New Year. Today is a special day kasi po, uh, marami po kaming uh, hinanda in the previous episodes to come. Ito po yung istorya ng uh, Grow Out Contest dito po sa Pilipinas. Go ahead, Glass. It's very exciting, really, because uh, during that time, we were going to koi shows. Actually, Mike was judging the All Japan Shinko Kai already in Japan. And you know how expensive it could be. We wanted something that any koi keeper could do. Kenji and I spoke one day. Uh, this was the winter of year 2000. So, nasa Japan po kami while purchasing koi at ito naman mga binibili natin koi. As early as 1990s, ay uh, uh, sinishare na natin. We we're selling them already to fellow koi collectors and friends. So, uh, fast forward po sa kwento po namin na to. We sat down in the middle of winter sa Japan po way back year 2000. Sabi, sige, finally, Kenji, Tani, my good friend, my mentor in Japan, let's mount the first ever koi show in the Philippines. Since wala pang masyadong mga koi entries na makakapasok, why don't we start with uh, supplying them with a group of fish na doon nila pipiliin yung ilalaban nila sa koi show. And our breeder of choice before was a uh, sakay fish, fish farm. farm. So we don't complicate things. Isang variety lang po. Kohaku. We will offer them uh, Christmas of year 2000 sa ating mga fellow collectors. And then they will partake of those 100 koi they will bring them home and come April after is, 100 days. Yes, 100 koi for 100 days. So. That's how we started to yes. call that. The 100 day Tatigoy Koi, koi show. show. Tatigoy po meaning uh, koi of uh, future or, or uh, good potential. That's the first time na natawag natin tong Tatigoy Koi Show. We still have the poster na dito pa po yun. That was way back 23 years ago. <laughs> April 1. Little did we know. Na ito po palang contest na ganito ay mag, uh, this will work, work good. And then the following year, kasi uh, marami na nag-follow suit because after 100 days, yung binalik po nila yung mga koi, nag, yung iba naglakihan, yung iba nag, you know, but of course, in, in every judging judging contest ng koi show, ginagawa natin, all we, what we look for is how the fish looks like today. Yes. Ganon silang kaganda, ganong size is, uh, hindi po masyadong, uh, the, the, the contention kasi magkakapatid po to. Of course, when two fish are equally beautiful, the judges will opt voting for the bigger fish. Yes, and let's not forget, you were so lucky to have top-tier judges. Mm -hmm. they, they were very young at that time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have Kentaro Sakai of Sakai mm -hmm. Fish Farm, Kenji Tani of Tani Fish Farm, Gonjiro Bern of Bernard Gonjiro. Channing. Bernard Channing mm -hmm. of uh, Japanese Water Gardens. From England. England. So malangit na ba si, si Bernard, ang kaibigan natin. Yes. This was the first ever, actually, grow out contest. In the world. Outside of Japan. We're not sure, actually, probably in, uh, in the world. But definitely the first ever koi show na nangyari dito sa Pilipinas. Yes. Like, like what I mentioned a while ago. Dito na, nag-follow suit na. The next year, 2002, nag, uh, kumalat na yung balita right after nang, nangyari tong koi show na to. Today is 2023, left and right na po yung, uh, yung uh, competition such as this. Now, ang tinatawag na po dito is uh, Grow Out Koi Show. My name is Mike Hernandez with my beautiful wife. Claire Hernandez, of course, and Ponce Farm Las Pinas. Dito lang po yan sa AgriTV, Spot About Koi. Merry Christmas one and all, and we are wishing you the best again of this Yuletide season. Happy Holidays! Happy Holidays! <laughs>